What's up guys, it's Rex here and welcome to a video that I haven't done in a so long, which is a Beyblade unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing Beyblade Metal Fury, um, Phantom Orion BD, which is uh, the new Hyper Blades. Yeah, actually, like, I live in Hawaii, so we get everything very late, so, or at least Beyblade's very late. And I guess this is the first wave or whatever. So I got this at Walmart. And it's like one of the only one of two hyper bays I actually had. So I was like, yeah, I might as well pick it up. So it's like the packaging for this is very different. Instead of just like a box, this is like weird. And this is, I have no idea. It's like a little weird vacuum pack thing. And as you can see, they already assembled it for you, which is. Ah, which is kind of sad. Uh, pretty nice packaging overall, but the only thing I can't do is make it stand because it'll fall over, so I have to use my comb. So, yeah, getting off track here. But uh, pretty decent looking packaging. I'll talk about the bay later when I get it open. But before we do that, let's go to the little stats in the back, and here you go. Boom! All green for, <clears throat> excuse me, all green for stamina, which is pretty. Yeah, if you guys saw the show, I, uh, yeah, it's straight up stamina type, which is pretty awesome. So, alright, uh, now that we got out of the way, got that out of the way, excuse me, let's get it open and see what we got. And I'll probably just, like, flash to me, or, like, yeah, fade to me, like, this was, like, the bait already disassembled, so we can see what we got. So, see you guys later. So, here we have everything out of the packaging, um, and disassembled. Because Hasbro thinks we're lazy. And most of us are. But I actually like putting it together. But whatever. Nah, getting off track again. So. Yeah. Before we actually get to the bay itself. You can see it comes with. This little. Neon or fluorescent green. Um, or yellow. Depends on how you look at it. When the, the light is. The. Uh. uh oh, excuse me. It's been a while. Uh. Right, uh, light launcher, or just a regular launcher from Hasbro, which is kind of sad. Still no light launchers, cause the light launcher too from Hasbro, which is kind of sad. This is way more better than stuff, and kind of more durable. It looks sleeker too, but whatever. Hasbro, I already got my string launcher. I'm happy. Uh, it also comes with this little strawberry colored, or yeah, I guess say strawberry colored um, ripcord. Again, not very useful for me, so it's gonna be put in the back. And the tool is this lime neon lime green, I guessing, which is okay. I'll just put it in my other pile of stuff or throw it away. Depends on how I feel. And lastly, uh, for you Beyblade online code players or yeah ba battle online players I f whatever it is I forget it's called but here's you guys code uh, pause the video right here so there you guys have uh, there you go the code for the thing which I don't use so yeah hope you guys enjoy it whoever gets the code yeah so finally what we're supposed to be looking at which is the bay disassembled Starting with the um, face bolt, which is in the motif of uh, Orion, with no spark effects though, which is, it's, didn't they say spark effects on the thing? Yeah, what a jet. It says spark effects with amped up colors, but yet, the face bolt, the lime green face bolt has no spark effects, which is, I'm alright with it. Like, it just adds to... Whatever, uh, it's like it's more or less an like average thing for me. So I'm trying to make the camera focus. Yeah, like I was saying, the faceball is lime green with the red tattooed faceball of the motif of Ryan, Orion, <clears throat> the constellation Orion or Orion, whatever it is in the anime or the cartoon. It's a uh, some kind of demon thing, but in real life, the constellation is actually the hunter and the three stars. That they use for the eyes are actually Orion's belt. If you guys don't really know that, so pretty okay looking. Uh, moving on to the 
What's it called? The Orion wheel? Yeah, Orion. Help, what, what else would be? The Orion fusion or fusion ring, uh, energy ring or plastic wheel, which is pretty cool. It kind of holds up to the demon part. It's like the upper head of the demon on both sides, like right here and right here. It's a nice, I guess, magenta or strawberry colored. I guess the lighting is weird. Should have changed the settings, but that's okay. Um, looks pretty cool. The lime green is more or less a thing for me. Like the weird contrast of colors, which I don't really like. Somebody does though, but I'm I'm okay with it. It's something. It's 4D. It's a 4D system base. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on to the Orion wheel, which is a really good stamina. It's pretty heavy. Because all 4D rays are heavy. Um, no real uh, edges to speak of for attack. It's just straight up defense or stamina, like I said. So nothing's gonna actually affect that spin when it um, impacts. And there's two sides to it. Like one, like this demonic looking face on one side. You turn it over, you get this. I think one is attack. This side is attack, I guess. Then you flip it over, it's like stamina mode. So if I'm wrong, somebody correct me, cause I haven't watched. I watched the anime when it came. Uh, when it was in Japanese, and it's been a while since I've watched the American version. But yeah, looks pretty sick. Then you have uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to the PC. I think it's what it's called the PC core, something like that. Yeah, if I say something wrong, please correct me and I'll like use it for future reference in my next videos. Yeah, it's kind of like a secondary um, energy ring, I guess. Just so it doesn't overpower it and make it like made out of metal so it doesn't make it um, too overpowered. Which is pretty smart on Takara Tommy or Hasbro's part. Slash Hasbro's part. No real design except for this weird hieroglyph on it which is, you can't really see on here or on camera oh you can kind of see it you can't can you yeah but there's some weird hieroglyph and it's a uh, or re nice see-through orange color which is cool and figure out how to put that in. I'll figure out that out figure out that out later lastly we have the main attraction which is or one of the main attractions is the bearing drive or BD and it's like pretty much the ultimate stamina type um, um, stamina type bottom I guess since there's no track to speak of uh, like inside right here there's a bearing like it would be, there would be an escape board and all it does like the weight of the bay would keep it spinning for a long time um, really cool I'm guessing I'll pop I'm gonna try lube it up with like WD-40 to see if it can like I was saying before, I was really cut off by my own camera. That it's a really good stamina type, which is pretty cool. Um, nice yellow color, which is pretty much it. So let's get this. Uh, my first Beyblade, or for or Hyperblade or 4D blade Bay, or second 4D Bay together, and see what you got. So there you have it, folks. Phantom Orion fully assembled or re fully assembled because it already came assembled in the packaging. But yeah, re fully assembled. Really nice bay. I like it a lot. And I'm happy because it's actual 4D bay. When was like when was the last time I actually bought a bay? Which was like months ago. So I actually got back into the game and back into the game after all these months. And you can see right here, like it just spins nicely. So that's pretty much it for the vid guys hope you guys enjoyed it a lot i know it's been a while and this video is gonna be kind of long because i'm so rusty but thank you again for stopping by hope you guys enjoy it stay tuned for the battle video which should be coming out pretty soon hope you guys have a nice day and i'll see you guys next time